Hello and welcome to Launch Code's Java Track. This first video is going to serve as your introduction to Java. We're going to take a look at our first Java file, and which you can see up here on the screen right now. This is a very simple Java program. It does one thing. It prints out the phrase, hello world, to the console. Now, uh, if you've been doing some programming in the past, you've probably already seen similar programs in other languages, such as C, perhaps. Um, so I'm just going to point out what makes Java different than uh, other languages that you may have seen before. For starters, everything in Java is an object. Uh, Java is an object-oriented programming language, which means that every single thing you create in Java is part of an object. This is true of this particular Java file as well. One of the first things that you see in the Java file is a class declaration. So right up here at the top, it says public class hello world. So let me break this down, explain what it means. Public is called an access modifier. This indicates whether people are able to see this class from other class files. So you can imagine a program that consists of many different objects. If I declare this as public, that means they can see this class, they can use this class, they can do things with this class. If I were to declare it as private, that means other programs would not be able to see this class. So more often than not, we do want this to in fact be public. A class, I think of a class as like a template or like a cookie cutter. Um, it allows us to specify what an object contains, the properties of an object, and the behaviors of an object. And then we can create instances of these objects that have different values for the properties, but the same behaviors. This will become more clear as we start to construct some more complex objects and classes in future exercises. And then finally, this is the name of the class. I've called this class Hello World. In Java, the name of the class has to be exactly the same as the name of the file. So if you look over here on my IDE, you see that the name of the file is also Hello World. Next, inside of the class, we have a single method. This looks a lot like a function if you're used to coding things in C. In Java, we call them methods because they live inside of classes. So we see this method here. It says public, static, void, that's the return type. Main is the name of the method. We've seen main methods before from our C programs. And string args, that's the uh, command line arguments. We've worked with those before in C as well. And inside of this method, there is a single statement, system.out.println, hello world, which does the actual task of printing out this phrase, hello world, to the console. So when I run this program by clicking the little green circle up here at the top, you'll see that it prints out hello world on the console and exits. That's all there is to this very simple hello world uh, program. In the next video, in future videos, we're actually going to construct some more complex classes and try to illustrate exactly why objects are useful in Java and why Java uses objects to represent everything. So in our next class, we're going to take a look at how to create an object to represent a computer.